Hey guys, so I wanted to do something a little bit different today, uh, kind of take you along one of our little commercial properties here. We've started taking care of this church. What is that? That's my land plane that I just took receipt of. I actually had to meet up with the uh, sales rep for Vermeer to take hold of that. Actually, my uh, 925 does not attach to it. They cut the holes incorrectly. So uh, blue diamond attachments. I don't know what happened there, man, but... Um, the holes are shaved too far forward that I spent two hours trying to get that thing to connect and it would not connect. But anyways, I get a lot of questions about the mowers, um, the Gravely mowers and the Pro Stance. And do we like stand-up mowers and have we been happy with the uh, the Gravely Pro Stance? So while I'm mowing this um, little commercial property today, I'm going to kind of talk about that and I just figure I could do something different here you know, than just being a talking head, at least give you a little bit of a mo footage to look at. So we have uh, four Gravely Pro Stance mowers in our little fleet and every one of those mowers has over a thousand hours on them. Um, most of them have about 1200 hours on them and I, we run two 52 inch Pro Stances and two 36 inch Pro Stances. Okay, The reason that we do that is number one the 36 inch blades are interchangeable with the 52 inch mowers okay so so let me, let me rephrase that the blades that fit on the 36 are interchangeable with the blades of the 52 that is one thing okay the other thing is we, we bought two of the same mowers they're identical because of ease of maintenance items meaning that you know, if we need to have extra belts on hand or extra pulleys on hand or anything like that, I don't have to have like two separate manufacturers. Like it, it's all identical. They're spec the exact same. So it just reduces the amount of like maintenance parts that we have to have on hand. So why, why did I end up going with Gravely? Well, I've, I've spoken before about the need to be able to repair your mowers and um, and just having a good working relationship with your dealer. Well, we have a dealer in our area who um, provides Gravely, Xmark, and Skag. And the truth is, is I got the best deal on the Gravely mowers at the time. And I've heard people say, you know, the the Skag cut quality is better, and Xmark does best on warm warm season turf grasses. And guys, man, I truly, you're just splitting hairs whenever you go down that, that, that rabbit hole. Like at the end of the day, all these mowers, they, they freaking cut grass. They just keep sharp blades on it and they do a great job, um, I, everywhere. I mean, you might see a little bit of difference in cut quality on a skag, um, with, with a deck, but you know, the thing is like they have their own set of problems, you know, some of those decks just get holes eaten them really quickly. So to answer your, your question, the reason that I went with Gravely is one, because my dealer stocked it, and two, um, he told us if he had to rebuild a mower, he could rebuild Gravely with the parts that he had stocked on hand, and that was very, very important to me. Uh, and next, we got the best price on the Gravelys at the time, and I've, I've been absolutely, I've been about as happy as I can be um, with, our, with our Gravely mowers. Now, we did have a Pro Turn 52 inch there for a while, and you know that is the um, sit down commercial mower that that gravely makes and i'll tell you that we ran it for about six months and i was just like this is no good like it's just no good for our workflow if you are doing residential maintenance residential lots like period a stand on mower is the way to go and you're going to see later in this video just just how easy it is to to move through gates, the line of sight is better. You're not getting up and down all the time if you're picking up kids' toys. And you look at the, look at here. But one of the other things that I wanted to mention about Gravely, it, let's talk about some of the the pros um, of the mower. I'll, I'll mention some of the, the cons, I, I guess. But the, the, I said every mower, you know, cuts. Look at this. I hit this sewer cap line right here. I just I just blasted it. I didn't raise the deck up high enough. I ran right over it. I was worried about filming for you guys and ended up crushing that sewer cap uh, clean out. So I got to repair that. But but let's talk about some of the pros of, of the Gravely Pro Stance. So for me, the, the thing that is the most 
notable about this mower is the hydros, like how smooth this thing drives. I'm driving this thing with one hand right now. Um, most of the time, I'm driving it with one hand, my left hand. Um, and, and it is so, and I tell you, I have ran the other mowers, and I can't do that with the other mowers. They're either too jerky, or they're just, they're just not as easy and as smooth to operate as the Gravely. I have just filmed, and I can. I have a couple buddies that have ran our mowers and barred our mowers. Whenever they jump on the thing, and and they start using the the Gravely Pro stance, the the fifty two in particular, they are like, this is the smoothest driving mower I've ever been on. I was like, I know, like, <laughs> like, like, trust me, I know. It's a very very smooth driving mower. The other thing that has stood out to me. Um, for, for the Gravely as a pro has just been um, the the lack of um, parts that wore out. Like there, there are certain things, you know, after a thousand hours that you're just going to have to replace, replace a belt, of course. Um, you'll have like an idler pulley will eventually start to wear down after a thousand hours. You have to get that replaced. Uh, maybe some of the front um, deck wheels, you know, that kind of keep your deck from gouging those things. They get chewed up after a while. But, but as far as uh, major problems like, like hydros or anything going on with the engine or just, just something that's like catastrophic, I've had none of that. I've had four of the mowers. And again, we've, we've put between the mowers, we have over 4,000 hours in those mowers. And again, there's been nothing catastrophic that has happened with the mowers. And I got to tell you, like, whenever you go to crank now hold on we did actually replace uh starters on a couple of them um after about a thousand hours i mean that's just you know we're cranking these things up 30 40 times a day i mean like eventually that starter is going to wear out right if you're cutting as much grass as we do but you know as well as i do that that having confidence when you go and get on that mower that it's going to crank up and it's going to cut and, and deliver and be a productive machine for you like day in and day out like that that's all you can ask for man like we can sit here and and split hairs about the skag has a better cut quality or x mark has does better on warm season turf grasses or this mower has an extra 50 uh hour warranty you know i, I understand all that is is important to an extent by the end of the day like for me what is the most important is comfort and productivity and this mower checks that box and that box and i would also put it right up there with reliability this thing has been rock solid for us short of you know just regular maintenance items now that that being said i am pretty particular with our maintenance uh, meaning that i don't go very long between oil changes you know i am cleaning out those air filters i'm cleaning out on the hydro fence you know keeping dirt and debris off of that so like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Now, if you take this mower and just like, you know, run it in the conditions that we do when it's 110 or 115 degrees outside and you're going, you know, 250, 300 hours when your oil changes, yeah, you're going to have freaking problems, you know? But but if you just do, like, just go by the freaking manual. Like, do what the manual says. <laughs> and if you do that, you're going to be just fine with the Gravely Mower. The other thing I would say here is um, I keep a trash grabber and a little trash bucket on our mowers as well as an operator controlled discharge chute. The um, handle, uh, the lever actually has um, broken. I broke that myself. Uh, I need to get a new one attached there. But if worse comes to worse, I just shut the PTO off and then I can flip that little um, grass chute down with my foot after the blades stop moving completely, of course. But just having an operator-controlled discharge chute really, really helps with, with productivity, keeping your work area clean. And furthermore, that little uh, trash grabber that I keep on the mower with the, um, the little trash receptacle, that, that was a little aftermarket piece that um, I bought from Gravely. And it just makes the life easier whenever you are on the mower and you are not wanting to have to jump off the mower to pick up a kid's toy or a piece of trash or something. Just reach down with that little trash grabber, put it in your trash bucket, and it really, really makes a, a big difference um, for productivity throughout the day. The other thing here that I wanted to mention that, that may be noteworthy to some of you is that you know I'm wearing long sleeves here. I'm, I'm in um, some uh, gloves here. I'm really start starting to take sun protection a lot more serious. You know, I've been serious about it in the past, but 
I've had some family members that have had, you know, cancerous spots removed off their skin. I would just encourage any of you, you know, if you're out there doing this day in and day out, really take that serious, man. Uh, the, the sun protection, wear long sleeves. I even, like I said, I've been wearing gloves. Um, it just keeps the sun off the back of my hands. And then also, you know, if you need to reach down and grab some something nasty, like I just feel a lot better about having some gloves on or maybe you need to pull some briar bushes or something out of, out of some hedges. Having gloves on, you know, and, and for, forget the language. I've heard them called bitch mitts before, but to me, they're not bitch mitts. Like, I like them. I like having them on. They keep my hands uh, clean. They keep my hands um, from getting all scratched up and full of thorns. So, yeah, I'll, I'll be wearing these um, from here on out. Okay, if you have any questions about the Gravely um, Pro Stance mowers, uh, please leave them down in the comments and ask. I mean, I have I have a lot of experience in these mowers, and if, if, if you've ran into, if you have a question about these mowers, I've probably ran into it. Um, I'm not sponsored by Gravely. Gravely, if you want to sponsor me, please send me a new mower. Um, these things, are, they are nearing the end of what I would consider um, their newness. So we will be looking at some point to pick up some mowers. So Gravely, if you watch this, somebody tag Gravely and tell them to send us a mower and we will, uh, we will put it to good use. But yeah, ask any questions you got, guys. I have a lot of experience in these mowers, and, and I can definitively say um, these have been really, really just rock-solid mowers for us. The stand-on mower is the way to go, and we have absolutely been happy with Gravely.